Hi, everybody. Welcome to Dive Deep. I'm Shelby Cornett, and I'm the ministry assistant at Cambridge City Christian Church. And I'm with Danny, our lead pastor. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done this. It's been a little while. We've been... On hiatus. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a weird... Been a weird month or so here with... Of course, we had vacations, and then now... Mm -hmm. I know you've had some sick kids, and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been a weird... Yeah. Yeah. But that hopefully we can get back to get back to doing normal this. Yeah. every week. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep. So now we're doing a series all in the family. All in the family. Not the Archie Bunker all in the family, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, there's yeah. been several references. Yeah. People talking about it. Yeah. On Sunday morning. Of course you're you're kind of young for I'm I'm young, but I know what it is. Okay. I right. like I watched it with my mom. I remember my mom watching it. Yeah. Which is really probably like a grandparents show. For yeah. Me. Yeah, it's yeah. But she watched it, I remember. Yeah. Not one of the best shows. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. my favorite to watch. A lot of stereotypes and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. But we're talking about different aspects of family. Mm-hmm. Um, what was the... F- so the first week we talked about singleness, being uh-huh. single, and, and the blessing that can be that God can use mm-hmm. uh, singleness. And then week two, we talked about marriage. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this week, we talked about... Parenting. Parenting, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I told Danny I didn't take notes this week because I felt like this was an easy topic to talk about. Because you're in the middle of it. I do it it. every day. That's right. You do it every day. Yeah. 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 So basically, I felt like the general summary of this sermon was keep keep at it with your kids as far as church and... Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, definitely. But I I think uh, another part of it, too, is being intentional in your leadership of your kids. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes in life, not just in parenting, but in life, like people lead, but there's not a lot of intentionality about Mm it. Um, In parenting, that can definitely happen. And, And when that does happen, it's very dangerous. Um, when, because if you're, if you're not intentional about it, somebody else will lead your kids. Mm -hmm. So you have to be, you have to wake up every day and say, I'm going to lead. I'm going to, um, show my kids this, this, Mm -hmm. and this, you have to be very intentional about it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's easy to get busy and with life. And there was a funny quote, I think it was from, uh, Edward, who was the, the, um, one of the Royal family or something over in England that came and visited, back many years ago, and he said that what impressed him the most about uh, the United States was that the children lead their parents. And and I think there's a lot of that going on right now, where life revolves around the kids when really it should be revolving around Christ. Right. Um, I think it's easy to say that you're going to wake up and do that every day, mm-hmm. but it's really easy to not. Yeah, and, and that's why it's important to get some habits established within your family. Mm -hmm. I know very early on in our family, um, when they were younger, we would do devotions with them every night before they went to bed. Then as they Mm -hmm. got older, now we do them in the morning before they go to school, um, making sure that you have times of prayer, especially around meals and things like that. Mm -hmm. It's really important. Connecting them to the church with the different groups that are available, whether it's a children's group or a youth group, um, student group. So, um, being very intentional about teaching your kids to love Jesus, not just love church, but love Jesus, um, mm-hmm. is really important. But you have to be intentional about it. It's it's not like some things that just kind of happens. It, right. you, you really do have to teach it to your kids. And I know I need to do a better job of that. And Well, all of us can. And my kids mm-hmm. are one and two. Mm-hmm. So I struggle sometimes with like, okay, what do I do? Like, what will mm-hmm. they understand? Um, but recently, I know I told you guys this, but I was talking to Jackson about prayer before we went to the prayer walk Mm -hmm. and, you know, like, what do you do? Like you talk to God and all this stuff. And he said, dear God. And I just cried. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. It was so cute. Yeah. Yeah. But it's neat to see those moments when your investment in your leadership of your kids mm kind of shows itself. yeah. Yeah. It's really neat. Yeah, and I, that prayer is something I know I need to do better about because it's easy for me, and I think a lot of parents are probably this way, to think of prayer as your own time, mm-hmm. like your own yeah. private time, yeah. and not yeah. sure share it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, distract. I, 
it's easy to get distracted. It's really easy. I mean, we have so many things to take our attention. I mean, we live with all the technology we have, and then because of the affluence in our country, we have access to do things that generations before us and then other people around the world even today don't have the access mm -hmm. to, that it becomes really easy to get sidetracked. Yeah with all those things. And so I, I would say we do have it in this aspect. Anyway, we have it harder mm -hmm. than a lot of people before yeah. us. And right now the whole world is so messed up. I think it's yeah. even more important now. Yeah. Yeah. To be consistent. And yeah. Yeah. It's hard. I liked the statistics you shared too. Oh Sunday. yeah. Yeah. About, yeah. The, I, those statistics have been around for a while. Um, mm -hmm. but, but they bear out true. I, I can't remember the exact numbers, but pretty much it was, I think it was like 70 something percent of kids who are, who go to church with their parents, stay in the church when they become adults mm -hmm. themselves. And then the number goes down to 50 something percent, 55 percent. I think it was when it's dad taking them, if he did it alone, mm -hmm. um, which that's very unusual. Usually it's not the dad doing right. it alone. Usually it's the mom and the mom, the percentage dropped pretty dramatically. Right. It was like in the twenties, I think, or I think something like, like 15. Yeah, it was pretty low. Yeah. Um, and then of course, if, if a child didn't go to church at all with their parents, it's like 6%. So, yeah. so it just shows you the influence and how important it is for both parents to mm -hmm. be involved and raising their kids and especially dads. Mm -hmm. Dads um, just seem to have a disproportional influence on that. Yeah. Um, I know I, I sent yeah. that to Lucian. Mm -hmm. Lucian's my husband, if you yeah. don't know. Yeah. Um, I sent that to him because I go to church by myself mm -hmm. with the kids. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I sent that to him. I said, I'm just going to keep sending this to you. That yeah. way. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 It really does make a difference. It does. Mm -hmm. And, um, I think other people in our church would tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, just knowing. I think, too, when you take the kids to church um, and you have a relationship with other people in the church mm -hmm. that have an impact on your kids, mm -hmm. too. I never, that's something I wouldn't have thought about until I started coming to church. And That's a really good, that's a really good insight and point there. I mean, I think we do tend to belittle the influence that others can have mm -hmm. on our children's walk. I I think it's important. I don't want just me and my wife speaking into my kid's life about faith. They need to hear mm -hmm. it from other people too. Right. Especially with me. I mean, I'm the pastor, so I preach every week, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm sure with my kids, it's hard sometimes for them to differentiate between dad and pastor. Yeah. So it's good for them to be around other people that also share in our faith and hear from them. Right. Um, because I'm, I'm sure sometimes I know Matthew's doing our um, production today. I'm sure Math, Matthew sometimes feels like I'm preaching. I'm just preaching another sermon at the house. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing a, a, a worship service at house. Overtime. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> because it is hard to differentiate between yeah. pastor, dad and dad. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it's important for other people to be yeah. involved in our children's and development. I, we didn't go to church growing mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. and I would go to church with my aunt sometimes mm -hmm. uh but I have all these people now too that are older than me mm -hmm. kind of could be a parent I guess yeah. like yeah sure that have impacted me since I've been here too yeah. so I want my kids to grow up and have that they need too. that and, and and it's and it's kind of um it's kind of like if you go into battle Mm -hmm. And you go into a battle by yourself or mm -hmm. with just a couple of you, odds are you're not going to be very successful. But the more people you take into battle like a whole with army you, behind you. Yeah, and, th and that's really what the church is. I mean, you look at the, the interpersonal relationships within a local church, like, you know, here at Cambridge City Christian Church. Mm -hmm. But then there's even the indirect connections, you know, of other pastors or speakers or book, you know, authors. Mm -hmm that you read from that people you've never met, but they are Christ followers as well right. that you can learn from and grow. So you have like this local battalion of people that you know real well. Like if you're in the army, you probably know people in your platoon or your battalion pretty yeah. well because there's only maybe a hundred or so of you at the most. But once you get out beyond that number, mm -hmm. you have this bigger army. And like in the army, you may not know everybody in the army, but you're all working together. Right. And, and so I think that's what's happening and with the church. Even, I mean, it gets kind of off track with the parenting thing, but even interpersonal skills and like 
learning how to talk to people, it's so much easier if mm -hmm. you have this. Yeah. I don't know. I think even since I've started working here, mm -hmm. I, my people skills have improved because it's mm -hmm. easier for me to talk to people. And yeah. If I have something in common with someone. So what you're saying is, is yeah, I mean, obviously the church is spiritually its first mm -hmm. yeah. reason for it, but there's other benefits as there's well. Social ton, benefits think. that come from interacting with people. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And if something, absolutely. if you're having a hard time with something and so going emotional through something, or, yeah. people are there. People mm -hmm. help when you're sick. People, I know yeah. people brought meals to me when... I had a baby. Yeah, yeah. There's so many. Yeah, benefits. and 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 I think we're seeing today in the world a. I know we're kind of getting away a little bit from parenting, but I mean it's still it's still very important. We're seeing today so many people that are so disconnected, mm -hmm. and everybody's looking around like, why? Like, why are why are well? It's because they're not connecting with other groups of people. They've mm -hmm. decided that they want to do it on their own. A lot for a while, people thought like Facebook or some of the social media would be a way of fixing that. And, and actually, I think it's made it worse. Yeah, I, I do too. Um, and and so um, I think in uh, churches aren't the only area that's struggling in mm -hmm. this. I mean, I've talked to people that like our clubs, like mm -hmm. you know the Lions Club or the Optimist Club or Kiwanis or these mm -hmm. kinds of groups, they're suffering from much lower numbers of involvement too right. because more and more people are just kind of doing it on their own. And, mm -hmm. and it's not an accident that we're seeing rising suicide, more mental health problems. Mm -hmm. It's We need each other. Mm -hmm. And as Christians in the church, we need each other. And I think online is great when you can't get out and sure. you can't. I mean, it has its place. Yeah, yeah definitely. But I definitely. think it's really important to be here and yeah. get to know people. Yeah, I mean, our, our strategy with our online is that we know that, that geographically some people mm -hmm. will, you know, they can't connect here because of, they live far away. But for others who li maybe live locally that use our online, the idea is, is that, yes, we want them to connect with our church that way, but, a, but the end goal mm -hmm. is for them to be here on our campus around people growing and, and connecting with people. Yeah. Mm hmm um, so, so yeah, so I guess maybe when we're talking about parenting, maybe a, a good thing to, to instill in your kids when they're young is that they need to be involved in groups of people like mm -hmm. the church, like clubs, like sports. Mm -hmm. I mean, sports have their place. Sometimes I do think we try to replace the church with sports, unfortunately. Yeah. And there's just some things that sports cannot teach. Mm -hmm. I've heard that from people like, oh, sports teaches so much. I'm not saying it doesn't. It, it can. It just shouldn't be your priority, number one. But it doesn't teach your kids the most important thing. Right. And that is a relationship with Jesus Christ. And and so, um, so yeah, so we need to make sure our kids are involved in those things so mm -hmm. that they can grow. I do think I'm going to say her name, too. And I don't, I don't know if she watched this or not. I guess this will be a good test. Um, doing sports and stuff in high school, I had Missy Renforth yeah, for yeah. a cheerleading coach. Mm -hmm. And typically coaches, I mean, you focus on your sports. But Missy, we prayed before mm -hmm. everything. She would check in on us, how mm -hmm. we're doing. Yeah, We would have God talks, I guess. Mm -hmm. And she she made a big impact Yeah, that way. But a lot of times with sports, it's not like that. Yeah, no. No, it's it's it, very it's rare. Yeah, and it's it's like very that. centered on the sport and and yeah, there are some things to be learned from it, um, but it's only part of the story. Mm -hmm. um, and a, a lot of people, unfortunately, are missing out on on a big right. the biggest part. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what mm -hmm. I gathered from this week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we talked a little bit, too, at the end of the message about some of the virtues that we need to be teaching our mm -hmm. kids, being generous, um, serving others, things like that. I mean, it's a big job. Parenting is the biggest job you'll ever have, the most mm -hmm. important job. Um, but we have to be intentional, mm -hmm. have to be intentional about it. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. all. Anything else you want to know? No, no, I don't think so. This coming Sunday, we'll wrap up uh, the All in the Family series. Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about... A widow being a widow or a widower, mm -hmm. I, I, I that don't, might be a little bit harder for me. Yeah, and and I, 
I um I was thinking back here. I don't know that I've ever done a sermon on mm-hmm. this topic, and and we should mm-hmm. because that'll, that'll be nice. There's several people. Yes, and, and I think it's. I'm going to try to come at it from two angles. One angle is if you are a widow or a widower, and the other angle is if you know someone who is a widow or a widower, mm-hmm. what can you do? I think to, it can um, prepare people to. In yeah. A way for yeah. Later. Yeah, definitely. So. So yeah. So yeah. So next week we'll talk about. Widow, widower, cool. All that. Yep, that's not, what we'll do. Not fun stuff. Yeah, it's not fun, but, but it's the, important. But it's important. Yeah. yeah. I'm, and I'm then glad. is that the last week? For that is, and then we're talking about life groups after that. Okay. So we'll awesome. be getting into our next series is on rest. It's called Sabbath. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to that one as well. So that'll be good. Yeah. So, all right. Well, we'll see you guys next week, and have a good week. <laughs>